Hi, everybody. So it's the year 2021. A hacker that's worth their own salt can brute force guess about 100 billion passwords per second. OK, what does that mean? That means that you have a password to get into your bank account or your student um, account or um, your Google account or phone or anything. And the hacker can use a program to guess this many passwords per second, okay, without knowing anything about you or, or guessing that you put your your dog, your pet's name in there or something about yourself in the password itself. So without even knowing anything about you, they, that's, the, that's just the guesswork, right? Now, if they know something about you, it makes it even easier, especially if your passwords are predictable and you're using the same password in all different sites, which you should never do. Um, uh, best to get a password manager if you can. Anyway, so let's just deal with the, the basic concept of how long the password should be. So the first thing we need to know is, okay, well, how long do we want it to be, right? So let's say we want to, this hacker to, to need at least a year to guess it, okay, just to be sure. Not that the hacker's going to be sitting around for a year, but maybe they've got a little bit of a faster computer, or maybe they did find out something about you that might give away when it, something you put in a password. So we'll just say at least a year to crack your password. So how many passwords can the hacker guess in one year if they can guess 100 billion in one second? Okay, so some facts to remember. Um, you know, there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, and 365 days in a year. And 100 billion looks like this. It's 100 with nine zeros after it. Okay, and so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 1 with 11 zeros. That's 10 to the power of 11. Okay, and on a calculator, you can write that 10 to the power of 11. Right, so I want you to press pause and try this yourself. See if you can do it, and then I'll go over it step by step. So please press pause in the video and give it a go yourself. Oh, okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So um, let's start out with thinking how many passwords can the hacker guess in one minute? So if we can guess 100 billion in a second, we'll take that 100 billion, which is 10 to the power of 11, right? And there's 60 seconds in one minute. So if I multiply that by 60, that's how many passwords you can guess in one minute, right? So 10 to the power of 11 times 60, right? So one thing to note is that if whether you have classic or math print on your mode, it'll make it look different. I think some a lot of you have this calculator. If you have a different one, it'll be something slightly different, but I can help you with it. Just let me know. But in any case, mode on this calculator, if I'm on classic mode, so I, I highlight that, press enter, 10 to the power of 11, uh, it, it prints out the little hat symbol for the exponent, okay? in the in the what I type and in the answer and if I'm on math print over here press enter to get to highlight it onto math print um, 10 to the power of 11 looks like this okay so I guess I'm just going to go to classic and anyway um, 10 to the power of 11 times 60 is 6 times 10 to the power of 12 and that's actually 6 trillion Okay, so the hacker can guess six trillion passwords in one minute. All right, but we have to guess how many how many in one year. All right, so um, so we've got it to minutes. This is minutes now. That's good. Um, but there's sixty minutes in an hour. So if I multiply by sixty again. Um, that should give it to me how many how many passwords you can guess in an hour, but then multiply by 24, and that's the number of passwords you can guess in a day, and then multiply by 365, and that's the number of passwords you can guess in a year, right? So just multiplying by these, we can, we can uh, get our answer here. 10 to the power of 11 times 60, whoops, times 60 times 24, ti or, sorry, whoops, 
times uh, 365. So that's about 3 point something times 10 to the power of 18. Okay? So I'm good, just going to call that approximately 3 times 10 to the power of 18, which is um, 3 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 zeros after it. Okay, it's a big long number, but that's the amount of passwords a uh, typical hacker in the year 2021 can guess in one year. So if your um, password is complicated enough that it that it's it's it it take it that there are more than this many combinations, um, then we have a decent password for the year 2021. So we're going to use this number to um, help us figure out um, how long our password should be, okay? And by the way, this is called three quintillion, three quintillion. And by golly, with a quick internet search, we can see the names of different big numbers. So you're all familiar with million, that's 10 to the power of six. Right, and then billion, that's 10 to the power of 9. And then now the next one is trillion, 10 to the power of 12. So think I've got a million dollars, I don't have to work anymore. I got a billion dollars, I'm a billionaire. I've got a trillion dollars, I'm the US government. And then we're into quadrillion. And then 10 to the power of 18 was the number we were looking at. That's called quintillion. All right, so there's actually different names for all these bigger numbers, as you can see.